14. I used to be a musician, but I'm not anymore. I'm an artist now, a bird artist. <laughs> to have a Stratocaster, a Fender Stratocaster, which I actually hated. <laughs> I really did. I didn't like it at all. It was a piece of crap. And, um, and I don't really know why I got back into Stratocaster. I think, I think the 80s had something to do with it. There was something about the sort of like white boys playing funk stuff that, that kind of lend, lended itself to a Strat rather than a Les Paul, which, you know, I mean, you, you were normally in one faction or the other. You were in a Gibson Les Paul uh, area or you were in, you know, a Fender Strat area. And I, I was certainly a Gibson person, but I, I didn't have a Les Paul. I actually had a Firebird to begin with, which, um, it's funny actually, I kind of hated that. There, there's something about the middle pickup um, selection part um, with, a, with a Strat that gives that kind of like, I don't know, it gives a a very interesting, different sound, which is totally identifiable with Australia. We're in Monteverdi, so we, um, we try and cater to what people here might want to hear in a rock band, um, which means we play some Latin rock. We've discovered that it's actually very hard to find good Latin rock songs to play. Um, I thought it would be quite easy, but even with, you know, three Ticos in the band, they don't seem to like it much either. <laughs> so, um, finding the good stuff is really, really hard. But we try and balance it out a bit. We have three vocalists in the band. Two of us are English speakers. And one sings in uh, the Latin songs, because it's not very good for either of the, the other two of us to sing Latin songs. People laugh at us. It's not, it's not a good idea. Well, tonight is a real exception. Uh, I have to say, that this is not the normal weather pattern. Although it does happen about once a year, but um, unfortunately it's now. I actually have a dehumidifier in my, in my room for the instruments. It's not so bad for, for a, a solid body instrument like a Strat, but an acoustic instrument just, in this environment, would just die. Somebody I know has, has a really nice Martin acoustic guitar and, and um, hasn't cared for it at all and you know the bindings coming off and the, the you know the, the, the top is like arch like this and the action's about this high I mean it's just a nightmare. I, I actually stopped playing for uh, two years. I didn't touch a guitar for two years. I was kind of over with it and I've just recently kind of fallen in love with it again. There obviously was this void in my life somewhere that, that music filled again. I mean, I was, I, you know, I was always into music, but I, I, never, I just stopped playing for a while. I, maybe, maybe also I didn't have the people to play with, because I like to play off people. I don't, I, I don't like you know, sitting in my room and, and twiddling away on my own. The thing is, I've never, ever planned ahead. So I can't really tell you, you know. It's like, this is fine for now, and... and yeah, my, my life has gone in, in, in directions I could never have predicted, and I certainly never planned it. I was just backpacking through uh, Latin America on a large trip. I'd never really, you know, being in, in bands and stuff, you don't really have vacations. You know, you just kind of keep going. I mean, you see, see interesting places and that, but you don't really have a chance to, to really appreciate them. So. I had some time where I just thought, oh, I could actually go off and do something. You know, go off and see other places and actually soak them up. So I, um, I, I decided to, you know, put a backpack on and go through Latin America for between six months to two years. I didn't know what was going to happen. So why did you choose this place? It chose me. 